sort of what is uh, before we get to the access to the workers team like the uh, arrival and the reception here in the Iron Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, just the whole experience so far. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't really imagine a better first bowl game for me. And it's, it's been so fun, just the whole experience so far uh, in Miami and just, you know, the people that I've been able to be surrounded by. And it's, it's been super fun. Katie? First, is that coming in, you added pressure? Being your first bowl game, is it coming in, you added pressure? Um, yeah, I mean, I, to me, I just kind of see it as another game. Um, you know, I, le I learned from a guy named Drew Brees that, you know, you just approach every game as another game. The size of the field doesn't change. The size of the ball doesn't change. Um, I, there may be a couple, a couple more people watching, but it's still the same game I've always been playing. So just just continue to to approach it the same way I've always had. I always have. I always have, and just you know, find joy in that. So. Okay, you still have the great responsibility. You know you're going to play and, and be the guy. How have you kind of tried to keep yourself in that mindset, knowing that there is more on your shoulders and you get more of an opportunity? Yeah, just trying to. You know, be the same me I've always been. Um, really not making it any more than it is. And just just approach it the same way I always have, really. And just, you know, this week and just prepare like I have been all year. Uh, I've been preparing every week, you know, like I was going to play and just continue to stay ready, which has been one of the hardest things I've done. Um, but, you know, I think it's helped me so much just, you know, in my preparation, really learning so much about, about the game and just about defenses and, and how to watch film and uh, just learned so much from DJ over the past couple of months, and it's been it's been really good. So, so several guys, in, including Tennessee, have mentioned how the team looks like it has a lot of juice with you as the quarterback. Uh, intentional? Why, why do you think you're able to kind of impact your teammates with energy? Um, I mean, I, I think I've always been a you know I, I'm always full of energy. Mm -hmm. I think I've always been that way, um, especially with the game of football. I love playing it more than anything. Um, so, you know, every time I get an opportunity to go out there, I'm going to give everything I have. Um, but, you know, I think I'm always, I've, all, I've also been blessed with just, you know, the opportunity to lead. Um, so every time I get to be able to do that, you know, I want to go lead the best I can and uh, with full of energy and just always encouraging. So. What have you learned about this Tennessee defense? Yeah, great. Uh, a, a heck of a defense, a heck of a team so far. Um, you know, they've had a great year. Great D, great D line, great linebackers, great DBs. And, you know, the, you know, they're just an overall great defense. And it'll be a great, it'll be a great competition for us. So. Coach Streeter talked about how multiple they are. How much of a challenge is that? Knowing, especially as a young quarterback, knowing what, what you're seeing, considering they're trying so hard to confuse you and give you different looks. Yeah, I mean, I think just post snap recognition is going to be a really good, a re really big deal for us this week, and um, just everybody being on the same page, communication. Uh, with, the, with the linemen and the running backs and uh, just continue to just make make the game simple and just take, take it one play at a time. So. How much rope are you going to have to be able to make a, adjustments, you know, at the line of scrimmage to, you know, check out of a play if you see a, a better play? Um, you know, I think, I think I feel pretty good about our game plan and, you know, our offense is, is made away so we'll, we'll always have options, so... I don't think I'll have to do a ton of that uh, when it comes to checking the whole play. So it's not really. Yeah. What about the way Coach Sweeney sort of instills confidence in his, his guys? Can you talk about that relationship you have with him? Yeah, he's he's very uplifting guy, uh, very loyal, and you know he, he loves his players. He's really a players first type of guy, and you know I love being around him. Even last night we were just hanging around the hotel talking for a while and. 10, 10, 10 30 last night just talking for like 20 minutes and just you know love being around him and, uh, just he's so much more than just a football coach he really cares about his players and, uh, just just love being around him so. so if you're not talking football with him what are what are you and him talking about not that's not football yeah um, I mean just life and just family how's my family doing uh, just you know how class has been uh, just you know how, how things been doing how's Kate doing you know, how's, he always says that. How's how's Kay doing? And, um, how's the real me doing outside of outside of the game? How how have I been liking it? And, um, just just honest stuff. I mean, that's what drew me in the program in the first place. So. Give me your description of Will Shipley. Man, uh, energy, and just <laughs> a leader. Uh, 
he, he doesn't like to be taken down. He doesn't like to be taken down, and he'll do everything to, to get one more yard. And that's what I love most about him. He's just he's probably one, he's probably our most selfless player on the team um, when it comes to just putting others first and just wanting wanting to lead by example. Um, it was just his effort is is uncomparable. There's a Knoxville kid um, on your team on the offensive line, Brian Tucker. What, what can you say about him and how excited he is and to see Tennessee on the other side? Yeah, uh, you know I, I love Brian. He's a great guy. Um, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's. This will be a fun game for him. Um, you know, continue to get to know him more. And, uh, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be pretty cool for him. Thanks, <laughs> appreciate. It.